the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, successfully launched its heavy communication satellite, CMS-03, from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh's Sri Harikota. CMS-03 is a multi-band communication satellite that will provide services over a wide oceanic region, including the Indian landmass. CMS-03, weighing about 4 1,400 kilograms is the heaviest communication satellite which was launched to geosynchronous transfer orbit GTO from Indian soil. The previous mission of LVM-3 launched the Chandrayaan-3 mission where India became the first country to land successfully near the lunar south pole. India's Minister for Science and Technology, Earth Sciences, Dr. Jitendra Singh hailed the successful launch of the satellite. The minister wrote on social media platform X, Kudos Team ISRO, India's Bahubali scales the skies with the successful launch of LVM-3 M5 mission. Bahubali, as it is being popularly referred, LVM-3 M5 rocket is carrying the CMS-03 communication satellite, the heaviest ever to be launched from the Indian soil into a geosynchronous transfer orbit. ISRO continues to script one success after another. Thanks, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, for the unflinching government support. So this has been... Uh, a momentous uh, launch for India. LVM 3M5. The launch uh, taking place from the second launch pad of Satish Chavan Space Station in Shri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh at 5.26 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And our correspondent uh, Jai Singh is stationed at Shri Harikota and is joining us with more. Uh, tell us uh, about the significance, Jay, about this satellite and how it will strengthen uh, the country's communication system. Well, uh, India has achieved yet another milestone by way of its uh, Bahubali rocket, the LVM-03, making yet another, another successful launch. This is the eighth consecutively successful launch for LVM-03, which was earlier known as GSLV Mark III. So this is the highest ever, you know, uh, payload, uh, the, the heaviest ever payload to be launched from Indian soil from the second launch pad of uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota, which is 90 kilometers away from Chennai. And uh, the, uh, the weather was really very salubrious, very conducive for this uh, launch. There are several innovations that have been made. Actually, the normal lifting capacity of LVM-03 is only 4 ton, but this time it was made 10% more by way of making a lot many innovative you know, ideas into practice. So this has been achieved uh, by way of you know, uh, avoiding uh, such heavy lift uh, air, uh, 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 satellite payloads from uh, taking them to foreign country for its launch, thereby, you know, strengthening India's Atma Nirbharda and also by, uh, you know, by way of uh, saving a lot of uh, money for the public exchequer. So this is the uh, eighth successful launch and uh, the fifth operational launch for LVM-03, which itself speaks a lot about the reliability of this rocket, the launch vehicle. When we uh, come to the satellite part, this is a very significant development, especially for Indian Navy, because it replaces the aging GSAT-7 uh, satellite, which was launched way back in 2013, which still is operational, but it's, uh, the technology has uh, changed a lot, and we can do a lot more by way of uh, modernizing the system and uh, by replacing the old one with this new one with multi you know uh, band uh, capacity it has very uh, ultra high uh, frequency bandwidth q band c band and s band all these bands together can enhance the capability of the indian navy to uh, ensure seamless at the same time 
very safe and secure communication between its ships on the on the shore as well as on the sea and uh, uh, the aircraft and the submarines and also with the uh, base stations on the shore so this way it can uh, transfer heavy uh, you know amount of uh, data quantum of data and then voice and also videos so this will significantly enhance enhance the you know the, the the capacity the communication reliable communication system for our security forces indian ocean is well within its uh, 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 range up to 2000 kilometers from its uh, shores so uh, this boosts india's you know capacity uh, both strategically and also to ensure you know safeguard india's maritime interests okay thank you very much jai singh for all those updates another historic feat uh, in the cap of isro